I'm Beth Mondrell, the Deputy Land Editor here at Shepherd Media, and I'm joined by Kate Marta, our uh, land reporter, and we're both here at a very hot LAD 2019 in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, now, we're going to give you a bit of an overview of some of the main news highlights from this week, starting off with the land domain, of course. Now, behind us, you can see a 6x6 Girani vehicle, which is being delivered to the Brazilian army. Um, this is a vehicle from Italian company Iveco. Now, Aveco said that deliveries are continuing. Um, around 400 vehicles have been delivered to date, and they say that about 80 of these vehicles are going to be delivered each year from now on. Interestingly, the vehicle behind me is with the Brazilian Army, and they're using it to um, showcase a prototype of a new software-defined radio that is being developed developed indigenously. Um, now the new radio, radio will have two waveforms capable of transmitting both voice and data communications. Another big platform that's here of course is the M109A5 Plus. Now this has been upgraded by BAE Systems from X US Army stocks of M109A5s. Uh, the platform here at the show will be delivered as part of a package of 32 self-propelled howitzers to the Brazilian Army this year. But um, Kate, you've looked at some of the rocket systems and stuff like that, so can you give us a bit of an idea of what you found this week? So I went down to MACG's stand and they had the Armadillo TA-2 rocket launch system mounted on top of a Humvee. They are um, about to enter qualification in June this year and then after that, if all goes well, they will be taken on by the Brazilian Army. I also went to a SAR briefing, so they spoke about the RBS-70 NG anti-aircraft system, which the Brazilian military uh, signed a contract for in December last year and they are hoping to procure these to replace their older sub RBS 70 system. They have 17 of those, they have sorry 16 of those at the moment and it's thought that the RBS 70 NG next generation system will go on to replace those. Uh, I went to speak to the Commander General Alexandra Porto afterwards from the anti-aircraft um, brigade of the Brazilian army and he said that the numbers were actually, um, he wouldn't tell us what numbers they were, but they were probably insufficient. So do you think there'll be opportunity for the Brazilian army to procure more of these systems? Well, that's the big question really, isn't it, Beth? Um, so we don't know how many systems, but I guess in the end it all comes down to cost and that's something perhaps Brazilian army aren't really going to speak about that much. Yeah, um, so that's kind of the rundown of like main, mainly land programs, but of course there's a lot of a aviation stuff here as well as uh, naval platform news. Um, so on the air side of things, the H225M aircraft uh, from Helibras continues to be delivered across the three services to Brazil, so the Army, Navy and Air Force. Um, 34 of these have been delivered to date and are being manufactured here in country. Um, Embraer wanted to highlight the next milestone for its KC390 tanker aircraft, um, the first of which will be delivered to the Brazilian Air Force this year. And um, Embraer and Saab also briefed on the Gripen E and F models. Um, the F model is still being developed. It's the only two-seater Gripen that has been uh, requested to date. And um, it looks like the first test aircraft for Brazil will be flying this year. And of course, we can't forget about the C domain. Um, a lot of news going on here, but the main highlight really was before, just before the show began, uh, the Brazilian government uh, selected its preferred bidder, bidder for the Corvette project. Um, this is a consortium between um, Embraer and ThyssenKrupp. Um, so really at this show, a lot of the companies here in the naval domain have been talking about how they will be able to try and add their own systems onto this platform, such as torpedo launchers and missile systems. Um, but from very hot Rio de Janeiro, uh, make sure you check out all the news on the Shepherd Media website and we will see you at LAD 2021.